Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going right, to take a look at the this. representatives of Universe 7 Extreme Super Battle Road Stage. This is an incredibly tough Super Battle Road Stage. It's been really finely tuned, it's been designed for really strong units. I mean reps of Universe 7 has you know, a la uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta, a la UI Goku, it's got the LR17 uh, combined reps of Universe 7 unit, it's got the LR Golden Freezer unit, the LR Goku Freezer unit, and it's got LR UI Goku. It's got some of the, the it's got really strong legendary units um, that are quite popular amongst the players. So obviously this has been designed for that, and so it, they hit very, very hard. So the name of the game here is Speed. Speed is the number one process to beating the stage um, and a little bit of control alongside that. So what I've done, I don't have UI Goku, I don't have LR SSBE Vegeta, I don't have any of those units, so I, I've had to design my team completely around this. Uh, and so my team has been built under the lead of the LR Goku Freezer. Uh, I have them, which is great, and they are easy aid. Uh, so obviously just to touch on them very briefly, they are a reps of Universe 7, 177% across the board lead. They raise defense on their super attack, they have attack and defense of 77% when attacking, plus an additional attack and defense of 77% when performing an ultra super attack. They will do an additional attack of 70% when the target enemy is in attack down, defense down, stunned or sealed. So. All of that does really help us out. It's very, very good for us that obviously they have that many status effects. Then in terms of the rest of the team, the friend lead, which is obviously the second most important unit here, is the LRBE Vegeta. Uh, the reason I chose the LRSSBE Vegeta is because obviously uh, his active skill is pretty helpful. Being a AOE active skill does obviously give us a lot of damage but also his damage reduction that he has after a couple of hits I find when stacked with an item is one of the most effective ways. Uh, LRUI Goku is obviously probably also very 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 good um, but yeah uh, the revive skill from both of them is great you could choose either one I preferred LRSSBE Vegeta just because of what I had planned and how I had them you know, linked up in my head, but you can go for whichever one you want. Um, I'm sure AGL Goku will be just as fine, if not probably better with his high range of dodge. So there's plenty of strategy there. Then we have the LR free to play Master Roshi, just a great unit overall, defense of 100%, medium chance of evasion. Uh, he also has a revive skill with him as well. Uh, and he also has a high chance of stunning the enemy. Uh, on his 12 key which is great so there is plenty of like you know things that he has the active skill also helps as well um, so yeah uh, pretty good obviously a nice super duper like range of abilities uh, that he has and that all of the other units have so that's very helpful from him we then have the master roshi ntn tech unit very very powerful unit um, obviously very like the here for control you know they have the ability to to stun and seal which is great um they seal the unit uh which is obviously super duper helpful uh they lower their attack and defense which is super duper helpful and they're also a support unit for the category which again is super duper helpful so they are really really solid they're gonna be a nice meshing unit for us and then obviously the final unit that we have or the two final units is the L, well, the Easy Aid SSBE Vegeta, so that's the Super Saiyan God Evolved Vegeta, uh, who's very good. You know, he's got defense of 100%, he fires off multiple attacks now, he raises his defense with all of his attacks. Very, very strong unit. And the Int Goku as well. Uh, again, just a very, very simple, very good unit to use. He transforms when below 50%, he gives you that full turn of evasion and he also does a lot of damage himself. So he's very good, he's a super solid unit and overall 
the team is very well organized. Uh, one of the gimmicks to the team uh, that I am running, which might surprise people, is the SS uh, God Goku, the Kaioken Goku. Uh, so why I'm running him is the active skill. Um, basically when our health is below a certain threshold, we're going to be able to use the Spirit Bomb, uh, which does insane amounts of damage to begin with. Uh, but then also increases everyone's attack, which is also ridiculous. So it's really going to come in handy, and it's a very good tool, and it's one of the very few strategy, well not few shit, but it's a very powerful strategy when you utilize it correctly. But yeah, beyond that, uh, this team runs pretty smoothly. There's nothing too wrong with the team, it's just the stage itself is very, very hard hitting. Like. It, it's designed for units that have the ability to crit on every hit and have 70% evasion and like 40% damage reduction for the most part. So it's a very tough stage, you know, it's designed around this and it even gives you rainbow versions of the LRs to utilize. Um, like I said, I'm using Vegeta. I find Vegeta to be the best, but as I mentioned before, you know, you could technically use whichever one you feel like you know you want to use me personally i think vegeta is the best i wanted to use vegeta um that was just something i thought would work well in a strategy if i did get to the situation i could use his active skill uh, which would help me deal out damage and that's kind of why i went with it uh, and i could possibly combo it with goku's active skill which would obviously also help as well of course not necessarily entirely true, it didn't really happen as I planned there, but there's a lot of combos you can do like that with the Universe 7 active skills. There are so many active skills, you know, UI Goku has it, the Blue Boys have it, uh, you know, the Kaioken Goku Vegeta Duo card, um, Vegeta SSPE has it, and so there's a lot of active skills that you can actually utilize. Um, you know, to kind of control how things plan out, which I think is very, very very impressive so that's one of the strategies you can utilize as you can see here um, trying to focus down units the ones I don't have stunned uh, also got very lucky with evading the attack there which basically saves the run uh, because we would have yep we would have definitely uh, definitely been put in a tight situation uh, yeah if I want to put things lightly also got lucky here with the crit as well. Uh, this crit did help out tremendously because obviously it meant that we killed her, uh, which prevented any damage at the end, which did help us a lot. Uh, and then now you get to see the benefits of the active skill itself. Um, so Goku's active skill being very, very strong uh, and his ability to cause huge damage, but also increasing everyone else's damage which is something that can't be underestimated i mean look how much damage that ability just did uh, so you have to kind of you know, really work around these things as best you can um, you can see me weighing up my options here uh, and seeing what to what to do exactly um, obviously we need to be able to dish out huge damage and just get rid of the opposition and vegeta does do that with this especially with this big boost from goku's active skill it's very very strong um so now all of a sudden he's dishing out huge damage and the premise was now here to activate um some items and then use those items to kind of retain my health uh, to a certain extent like to leave my health at the threshold and kind of quickly get rid of you know some of the opposition and hopefully be able to to just eliminate them and then regain control of the fight and that's kind of the idea that i'm going with here the reason i'm i am double uh using items is because obviously i'm trying my very best to make sure that i retain the same level of health you can also see i'm being very considerate of my orbs uh, trying to make sure that i can maintain a correct threshold of health uh, and then that's going to enable me to kind of like uh, get the active skill when I really want it which is early on because I want to ideally in this final stage eliminate some of the opposition and have total control of the fight and then my seals and my stuns my you know control that I have from Master Roshi and Tien and Master Roshi 
uh, can actually come into play and will be able to really control you know how much damage we take from these units which which we desperately need uh, it, it, it's a very very hard event so Goku doing some good damage uh, very solid damage as you can see we've done some good damage to Dispo as well which is very helpful uh, and at this point things are going well Master Roshi is going to be able to again uh, really help us out with sealing up uh, you know the topo which is great uh, and then actually we get pretty fortunate here in that Dispo lands a super attack on Master Roshi which is what actually pushes us into the threshold uh, required to activate Goku's active skill uh, which you know is exactly what we wanted at this time so Goku getting his active skill again super duper helpful and we end up with the perfect lineup actually in this second rotation here. Uh, so Goku's active skill, like I mentioned, does huge damage. Um, and we have two, two, we have two items active, so we, we've got double layers of protection. Uh, and you can see here, I'm even going to use a Ghost Usher to completely skip uh, this turn, so we can just get the full damage. Like I'm being ultra careful, just off of the premise that Vegeta might still get super attacked, and we might still take too much damage with how low our health threshold is so you can see how crazy careful I'm being even with a Doken attack even with everything I'd rather be full up on health do huge damage and be able to utilize the active skill uh, it, it's very 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 um, you yeah, know very 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 crazy from that point of view so um, yeah yeah you know, it's pretty nuts basically basically to um, yeah you know, say like we'd rather just do that so yeah that's how crazy the stage is though like it's it's that difficult so everything went well to plan uh, this honestly took me about three or four tries i will be honest i had to think of the exact right team to kind of take things on originally i went in uh just on the premise of just trying to like brute force my way through it didn't really work uh this team seemed to work a lot better i came in with the strategy thought things out, double used my items, just started off strong from the bat and everything seems to have gone fine. I changed some items up as well, used a ghost usher instead so I could keep my health threshold a bit lower and yeah, everything worked out fine. So that's it from me guys, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like and I'll see you next time, bye!